Uh, <laughs> terrible. I just feel like such a child. I mean, in a sweet shop. He was history's most controversial composer. Because you stand waiting for a Valkyrie for hours, and then they all come at once. His music was revolutionary. Playing the Tristan chord on Wagner's own piano. I have to pinch myself to see that I'm not dreaming. And he created a unique theatre to stage it in. I know you'll think I'm very overexcited, but if this is the temple, this is the Sancto Sectorum, the Holy of Holies. And I've waited all my life, really, to enter. Now, Stephen Fry is making a journey through the remarkable world of Richard Wagner. He'll immerse himself in the music. It's like being inside a painting. You're actually inside the texture of the music in a way you could never imagine. Rakta dich Tristan! I'm not sure if I was allowed in. It's fantastic. It's such a moment, isn't it? He'll explore the landmarks of his turbulent career. Ooh. He'll meet the composer's family. Flesh on flesh, I touched a Wagner. That's pathetic of me, but it's rather wonderful. And gain unique access to his extraordinary theatre. Even the boxes are Wagnerian. Oh, I wish I were a Valkyrie sometimes. Nowhere else like it in the world. But this journey will test Stephen's passion to its limits. Because he loved Wagner too. I am deeply uncomfortable in Nuremberg talking about Wagner. I realize how close to the, to the Nazi fantasy world Wagner was. Stephen's Jewish and lost members of his family in the Holocaust. Before his journey ends, he'll face some painful questions. Why do you have to listen to Wagner and Bayreuth, which is so somehow symbolic for everything terrible yes. that has happened? Can he save the music he loves from its dark and troubled history? If he had known that the person who was most hurt by his anti-Semitism was himself, what would he say to them? There's nothing to say. No, there is nothing to say. That's it's, exactly uh, the point. Extremely good music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>